What's up everybody, it's your boy 2Js, back at it with another unboxing of stuff that you don't see every day. Um, this one is a Ultra Boost that was a collaboration with Concepts, and it's the friends and family version of that shoe. Now, they only made 17 pairs, and I believe this is pair 12 out of 17. It is a size 10, and uh, it looks basically like a triple box 3.0, but they put like a print on the cage, which is really, really nice. Um, it has a nice feel to it. It's really smooth. Your finger just like runs right off of it. One of those things where you can't stop touching it. The insoles also have, um, you know, a couple dates in them and stuff. I believe and then there's a letter written by the creative director for concepts and it basically says in the spirit of the ever-evolving partnership between adidas and concepts we would love to share with you one of 17 pairs of friends and family exclusive ultra boost customized in, in the portland maker lab with concepts creative Di director dion point these highly limited edition shoes celebrate the design of our first ever co-curated Adidas exclusive boutique, Adidas Concepts, located at 73 Newberry Street in Boston, Massachusetts, and are individually numbered. Pretty dope. Comes with 3M laces, and then looks like regular laces. So, you know, pretty simple. I mean, the shoe's not pretty simple. This is extremely limited. This is a size 10, and it is going to be listed here at UN for $5,000. I get it. It's not uh, in a price point where everybody can justify the expense, but for those that want to stand out and uh, a little well off in life, here you go. I got a shoe for you. Um, uh, in the meantime, we're actually redoing the whole store. We've been at it all damn day, huh, Charlie? Yep. Tired? Yes. Little. I, I'm not gonna lie. I am a little myself. I uh, am. Once we get out of here, I have to go pack, which I haven't done yet. And uh, I'm gonna sound like hella extra right now, but I gotta, I gotta go get this fixed right now. So that takes like two plus hours, and then. Um, we are, I'm gonna go pack. I gotta be at the airport at like the crack of life. And then uh, Sneaker Con Atlanta, which is sa this Saturday, we'll be there uh, Friday. And we're hanging out in Atlanta for a couple days. I'm really excited. And then um, I got another thing that I wanted to show you guys here. So I'll set this aside. I'll give you some B-roll of this so you guys could uh, appreciate and Google over some stuff that you don't see every day but um, the other unboxing I wanted to do in this same video um, just to kind of save your time my time on um, posting multiple but not to take away from either is uh, my boy Fran Alations which some of you may follow uh, I've known Franny for for a couple years now and Franny um, has been a really great great friend of mine He's an, uh, he's an OG collector, small feet, he, uh, you know, I've been able to barter some deals with him in the past, and he started this brand called Sandal Boys, and you're starting to see Sandal Boys, you know, mentioned everywhere, and, you know, some influential people have been given the opportunity to rock his stuff, and, and he's just got great support all around. He was kind enough, and Sandal Boys was gracious enough to throw me a couple pairs of slides, um, in my size, which is pretty dope. Um, one was a collaboration, and one is just uh, like one of the regular releases. But yo, check these out. Boom. Kind of cool, yeah? The color's like definitely my steez. And then this one is crazy. He did a collab with BBC. Like, man, Franny, I'm so proud of you and what you guys are doing, man. Like, you got to do a collab with BBC, dog. Like, yo, that's so wild. I'm gonna definitely rock these. I might rock these, like, as I, like, on one of my trips here soon. Um, 
Might be a little bit easier to travel in, in slides. What do you think, Charlie? It's different. Uh, but pretty dope. And uh, you know, the dust bags are a really nice touch. It's got the Sandal Boys and uh, BBC logo infused in one. And then uh, he shot me some stickers that were really dope. These will definitely go on the 401k wall. And uh, yeah, man. So that's pretty much it. So from here, Atlanta Sneaker Con, when we get back, hopefully we could drop this QR code, right? And allow our consigners to start doing price drops in real time, which I'm really excited about that. And just get ready for Sneaker Con Toronto which is right around the corner. So, um, but as always guys, I appreciate the support. I'll catch you guys on the next one. I'll make sure to try to get as much content as I can while I'm in Atlanta. See y'all soon.